it's me Danielle welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw a cartoon version of a fairy this is episode 3 of mythical creatures edition now before we get started I'm going to be telling you all the materials that you are going to be needing first we have a pencil make sure it is sharpened with an eraser just in case don't forget about your beautiful colors I have lime, this like lime green. I have this like dark-ish green, bubblegum pink, light blue, like, like sky blue. And I also have this peach, which I'm going to use for the skin color. I have a sharpener just in case if my pencil goes dull. I have a sheet of paper with one underneath it just in case. Okay guys, let's get on with the video. I found a really good style for um, our fairy drawing. So now let's get started. So what I am going to have us first start doing is we're just gonna do a circle. So kind of go on the right side of your paper and just do, hold on, that is like way too small. Okay. Okay, let's try to fix that because that is like way too small. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on your right side of your paper and then do just a regular circle like that. Now it may have messiness, that's okay because you can um, erase it later if you need to. So now, instead of having the neck going down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it going this way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing that we did in the last video and just kind of arch it like this. Good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to kind of move this style a little differently. If you watched the last video of when I did the mermaid drawing, we are going to go just a little different than it going straight. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're just gonna go out like the shoulders again, but what I'm gonna have you do is hump this way and then have your arm going down. Now, we're gonna do, create the elbow, so kind of do like a curved sharp point, kind of, and then bring it out like that. Hey guys, now what we're gonna do is kind of from here, at this point, you're gonna go downward, kind of going inward again, and then what you're gonna do is don't do this. Don't start from here. Start here, kind of curve it out, and go out like that. Perfect. Now, what I um, am going to do is I am going to um, start by um, going in with the outfit. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna kind of erase the shoulder right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go out, but create like a little leaf, stuff like that. Just like that. Don't do the same thing on this side yet, because what we're gonna do is you're gonna have, you're just gonna do like a little hump going from here to here. And then, again, kind of visualize it going behind. I did that again. I always end up um, blending it in with my finger, because again, the sheet of paper that I am using. Okay, so you're just gonna go outwards. And now to create the back. We don't usually create the back, but instead we're kind of having our fairy going facing a different way, so that's how we're kind of getting the back. So what we're gonna do is from this point, this point right here, you're just gonna go down, curve it out like that. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do the hands. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna have her holding something. Or, or, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I hesitated for a second. Yes, we are going to have her holding something. So what we're gonna do is you're just going to kind of, yeah. Nope, definitely not. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of bring this in and just like we did in our last video, create a circle. So you're just gonna do a circle kind of going round because this is a guideline that's going to help us. Okay, I am going to kind of zoom this in just that way you can see the hand better. So yes, I have officially zoomed in just that way you can see the hand better. So now what we're gonna do is again, start by kind of outlining this out. 
like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the thumb. Again, the thumb is the shortest finger, so create that a little small. Now, I want you to pay attention very closely because we're not gonna have the fingers kind of being like spread out. We're gonna kind of have them kind of closing inward. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna kind of curve it like that, but then watch super closely. The next finger is gonna be kind of going behind. Each fingers, all the fingers are just going behind exactly like that. Now start by doing the outlining, by actually doing the step. Just like that, and when you're done with that, erase the middle. And then if you accidentally erase anything, that's okay. That happens a lot when doing that. Good. Hey guys, now um, that, usually we do artist choice at the end of the video, but we're gonna start by doing artist choice right now. In case any of you don't know what artist choice is, if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my videos, artist choice is a little thing that I like to do that the artists, which is yourselves, get to choose uh, three options, or you don't have to choose anything at all. You can just make up your own thing. Now, this um, video for Artist Choice, she, um, the fairy is going to be holding something. Now, let me give you three choices. Let's go, people. Guys, let's start off by doing choice one. So I have choice one right here, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, choice one is what you can do is you could just do a little flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just kind of curve that in and then same thing, but then kind of go it in like that. Or we have choice two. Choice two is I was gonna do a little frog. I'm not really good at drawing frogs, so I'm just gonna kind of like a little smelly face. And I'm just gonna kind of go in like There, that's my impression of a frog. Oh no, it's gotta focus. Okay, that is my little impression of a frog. Now we have three. Okay, it keeps on focusing. Oh no, okay, there we go. Okay, choice three is I was gonna do like a, um, uh, what are they called? Oh yeah, <laughs> I do not know why I would forget it is called a bird. So I was gonna do just like a little bird and then kind of like have that going out, then add little feathers, kind of just adding them everywhere, and then adding the tail feathers, then adding the little feet. Animals aren't really my best friend, well, like birds and stuff aren't really my best friend as drawing, but this is my intention. Okay, there we go. Those are your three choices. Guys, like I said, you do not have to do any of them. You could be creative, make up what you want. She can be holding a leaf. She can be holding a drop of water. Maybe she's a water fairy or something. Maybe she's holding a ball of light. Maybe she is a magical fairy. I don't know, it's your choice. But in case if you really like the three decisions that I chose, you can definitely do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna do the flower. So what I'm gonna do is in the hand, it's cause she's kind of cupping it. So from here at this point, you're just gonna kind of go up and create one petal. Now kind of do the same thing on the other side. Then do a big one in the middle, just like that. And then if you want, you can just add a little more ones like over here, like that. Beautiful, wait, I forgot to connect. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Hey guys, now let's continue with the actual body. So what we're gonna do, instead of doing, so just like what we did right here, we didn't go like this and connect it, we went like this. So we're gonna kinda do the same thing, except going down, we're gonna go up like that. Now what we're gonna do, is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of curve it up, and I'm gonna kinda go a little Tinkerbell-ish, and I'm just gonna do like little, um, Stuff like that, and then kind of curve it inwards like that. Yay! Now let's start by doing the actual legs. So what we're gonna do is see how kind of this leaf, I kind of curved it. Kind of do the same thing right next to it, but then kind of bring it back like that. 
and then do the same thing, but kind of hump it out like that. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the shoes. In case if you don't really like the style of shoes that I'm doing, you can definitely do a different style and don't even put any shoes at all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda do like a little sandal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda go out like this, kinda boot first. But then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go out like that. Watch this if you are kind of confused and you don't know how to do any feet. This is what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna do like a little toe like that. And then kind of doing a little ones kind of going back. In case you can't see that, this is what I mean. Let me just kind of move the camera a little bit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need to move this. Okay, so right here is I just did a little extra toes in the back. Guys, now we are definitely not done with the shoe. I am just gonna add a little bit of detail right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda do like a little vines. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda curve it in like that and then kinda just add like little swirly curves like that. And then add like a little extra like that. And then just add curves everywhere. It can even be coming out just to kind of know that it's an actual like shoe. Okay, now it's definitely not a sandal because it has to be, there has to be a place for the foot to actually like go on. So I'm just gonna kind of do the same shape and I'm gonna kind of go out like that. Yay, we finished the yes, shoe. I'm not gonna do the face just quite yet because I have to do the wings. The wings are like one of the most important parts of a fairy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is if you guys already know how to make wings, go for it. Do Tinkerbell wings doesn't matter, it's your drawing. Again, it's not mine. I'm just trying to teach you the basics. Okay, so what we're gonna do, if you wanna do these style of wings, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda go behind here. I'm gonna do a line that's kinda going out like this. And then from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm kinda going in like that. And then doing another one, kinda going in like that. And then I'm gonna create a back wing kind of going more out like that. There we go. These are the full wings, just like that. Now we're gonna actually do the face, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so just like what we did with the mermaid in the last video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a um, cut through the middle and then one going through it again. Now, I'm going to do the hair and I will be right back. The reason why I did not show you um, the hair of how to make the hair is because the same style, I literally did the same thing on the mermaid. So if you really, really needed help, you can obviously just go back in the second video, the one before this, you could definitely watch that. I just did the same style. So yeah, so now after that, you can obviously just erase the middle and here. Now, instead of doing long hair, I just did small hair, like little, like short hair, short hair, not small. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of add like a little hat, like a little fairy hat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of erase the top and then I'm going to just do a line like that, just like that. And then now I'm gonna kind of go behind this, do a line like that, same thing on this side. Then I'm gonna kind of have it kind of like swirling out like that and then connecting it like that. And that should be exactly like that. Okay, now when you are done with that, again, you can just erase these guidelines and it's already erased. Oh, well, when we use the colors, it's gonna be like it never happened. Guys, now let's actually do the actual face. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the same thing that we did with the mermaid, just kind of do a little curve like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do for the lips is do the same thing that we did for the first drawing and do the same thing, except what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of like these type of lips instead. Okay, now I'm going to do dun -dun -dun, the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same style I'm just gonna go like that, but then she's kind of like grinning, so so do a little line that's puffing up. Now, oh no, the hair is blocking it. Oh no, what do we do? Um, okay, yeah. That is definitely not a problem, people, because we were supposed to do that. The eye is going behind it. 
So it should look like that. Now, um, since she's kind of looking down at the flower, we're going to do the pupils, which is the black part of our eyes, looking downward, just like so. Okay, good. So I just added a few more details for the dress. And um, if you guys um, wanna pause the video and copy off what I did, you can totally do that. Or if you wanna make your own dress, that is perfectly fine. Again, I'm going to remind you, it is your drawing, not mine. I am just giving you the basics, okay? <sighs> Sorry, I got a little out of hand there. Okay, guys, now let's go on with the colors. Hey guys, I'm going to first start with the dark green, and I'm not going to do time lapse this time because I really want to save time. So now, let's get going. I finished the dark green. Now we're going to move on to the light green. I will be right back. I finished the green, but I have totally realized that these two greens barely have any difference. I just realized that this green and this green, they're like definitely no different. But that is okay. If you kind of look really closely, which you probably can't really um they are kind of different but not really but anyways let's just move on with the next color bro hey guys i finished the pink now we're gonna move on with the one and only blue -o. i finished the blue now we're gonna move on with the peach i have just realized i do not have any colors for the hair so i have this um brown that i'm going to use for the hair so i will be right back i forgot another color of course i need black for the eyes so i'm just gonna quickly color that in okay finally we are officially done hallelujah guys, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to click that like button don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all next time don't forget to click the notification bell below the subscription button just that way you can be notified of any new videos that i'm creating I hope you guys can watch the new videos that I create. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Peace out, peoples.